Where you apply the mask really matters in fusion compositing. So in our example here, media into is the dimensions of logo, and we're now applying an ellipse mask node to it. So this essentially allows you to crop out this particular part of the foreground of the image. And now if we plug in a transform node, for example, you can now move this image of this foreground around anywhere on the screen. And the same goes with the merge node. Uh, we can now just move this foreground around anywhere on the screen, increase or decrease the size. Essentially, this allows you to make changes to only this particular part of the foreground. On the other hand, if we were to apply the same mask to the merge node instead, now, uh, once again, you are able to crop out this particular part of the foreground. So at a quick glance, this looks exactly the same. But underneath it, uh, the functions are completely different. So it let's plug in uh, the transform node once again to the foreground. Now let's uh, make some changes to it. And you will notice right away that all these changes are now limited by the area that's defined by our mask node. Now, uh, this uh, same thing goes uh, for the merge node. Uh, once again, if we were to make changes to, uh, let's say, the size or the center parameters, all these changes will be limited by the mask node. So there's no right or wrong. This just comes down to what your purpose is. Let me give you another example. So I want to blow up this particular part of the image. So what I'm going to do is to plug in a polygon mask node and apply it to the transform node. So now if we were to, let's say, uh, come to the transform node and begin to make changes, what you will notice is that all these changes, again, will be limited by the area that's defined by the polygon mass node. And you can uh, apply this uh, polygon mass node uh, to the merge node, and then you can make these changes in the transform node, or you can just go to the merge node, make the same changes. The results are the same. The reason is because these nodes don't contain the source content, the footage that you want to make changes to. So one thing we can do in this example is to create a copy or a duplicate of the media in one node, and then we're going to uh, plug that into the transform node. Now let's apply the polygon node to this new media in one node, and now let's come to transform, uh, and now you can see this change is going to be applied to only this part of the foreground. Now, of course, the pivot point has to be adjusted to the center as well. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing. You will see that this works exactly like how we want it to. All right, guys, I hope this tutorial helps, and as always, I will see you next time.